Hello guys, Ryan here. It's been a long time we didn't make guides for Varwind since it's been probably like 9 or 10 months, but the new map came out and we, we, we're gonna make like new guides for every map except Split because it uh, got removed. But anyway, today we are on Pearl, Pearl and the video will be uh, divided in some um, like 4 or 5 parts, I don't know yet. But you will know like one ways lineups, setups, retake lineups, and everything like that. So you will have the time temps, time, time temps, something like that, in the comment section or in the description. So be sure to check it if you want to find specific stuff on Pearl. Anyway, enjoy the video and love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you learned some stuff and enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, we're gonna start with different side setups. I'm gonna show you some walls, some one ways to defend from A or from B or from mid. There was a lot of things that I have to show you. And the first thing we'll start with is gonna be B side. Cause B side guys, I have really a lot of stuffs here. I mean with walls and one ways and stuff and retake. Anyway, the first thing I want to explain you is that you can really play aggressive with Viper on B side. I have some like gameplay videos that I will show you after showing you how it works. But anyway, you just go here and you'll watch the minimap to like yeah. cut this with your wall, okay? You're gonna do this and then you come here and at the start of the round, you're gonna just run, hit the lineup here on the wall and you have full control of here. There will always be people that will try to run out of the wall and everything like that, but that's pretty, really, really good a way to be aggressive as Viper and it worked like 99% of the time. I tried it in game, so here is some example. That was me, Zami. No, no, fucking push it. I got you. I see some more. I saw fell. Wait, uh, Citrus there? Oh, that doesn't really fall far, huh? Ouch. One enemy remaining. Ah, uh, B? I mean mid. I'm being bad fuck. Mid, mid, mid. So for droning. Did you destroy that? Think of your angle. One of you know, I'll just I'll just do myself the things, guys. That's Sounds good. Like a skin, skin to win. Then I like to use a retake wall on uh, Pearl, and this retake wall is here. So you have to um, put yourself here at the beginning, and you have to come here and cut this yeah. entry and to protect the side like this. Because when you will retake, people could play from mid, people could play out if they planted here. And this wall is honestly the best wall for retake in my opinion. And you will be able to use a smoke to cover tunnel or something else. It's up to you, depends on uh, how many people are alive and everything like that. Then on B side, that is pretty much the wall stuff, the wall, uh, the old walls I'm using. And now we're gonna head up to um, to mid walls that I used uh, to defend. And the first one I like to use is this one. So you would come mid here, and you will watch there to there. You you think they gave they get it's ga it's giving them uh, a lot of space to play in, but honestly, you get protected from here and from window. The only way they can walk through is like this. So this wall is okay. I'm I didn't use it that much, but to be honest, that's the, the only wall that can cover us really well in the mid like that. Otherwise, what I like to do, uh, if you don't want to use it, you can use another wall like this from A side in this corner, and it's gonna defend mid here. doors and all here. and art here. So this is the only way uh, you could make it happen. Like it defends A side like this, it defends mid and it defends the double door here. That's the, the wall if you want to play more passive and not aggressive. But as always, I have an aggressive wall. Sorry for that. <laughs> I have an aggressive wall for, for mid and this is this one. So it also defends A side like this and it cuts here. mid window. So you just do this, then you go back mid and you see that it covers window like that. It's pretty cool wall and 
If you want to have control on everything at the same time, after using your wall, you will come back mid and you will go in front of that pillar, okay? And you will watch on top of uh, this, uh, this, okay? With the ultimate. You will see there is a, like a circle inside the ultimate and you just put your DHD like that. Then you throw a, a simple left click. You're gonna have to wait a bit. That's the inconvenience of it. And you can activate your wall and your smoke after that and gonna get a really good cover mid like that. It's a second way to defend mid, but honestly, if you want something faster, I recommend you to use the simple wall I showed you before. Otherwise, there is also some one ways if you want to play off and let them have mid. Um, if you want to let have mid and it, if there are a lot pushing from here, there's a simple one way to make is you have to get in front of that door, the left side of it, and you're gonna watch this wall line. Okay, you can watch anywhere. Let's watch here. You just do a simple left click and the smoke is gonna land here. Then you're gonna have a, a simple one way that you can play from every angle and they can see shit if they get in. That's a really cool one way if you want to defend uh, from here. If you want uh, to let have this space um, and you want to defend from here, there's also a really tricky one way that you can use. You put yourself here, it fails sometimes, but you have time uh, before the round starts. You're gonna have to aim uh, here at the light, okay? And um, the one way will stay here on the lamp. And you have a pretty uh, good spot to defend mid if you want. But this one is if you really want to play uh, defensive. I prefer using that one way to be honest. Then the only uh, smoke you can do this one is from Unidaro, the guide. Um, so if you want to check his guide, you can also check it. This one way was pretty cool when I, I saw it. So you can stand in this corner and you will have to put your HUD uh, here. So like I'm showing on the screen. And then you will have to wait until the game starts. And you're gonna put your smoke like this. And it's gonna give you a cool one way. So this one is really cool, so thank you in there for that. <laughs> then other wall uh, you can use um, for re to retake on A side is uh, the wall from spawn. So to make this happen, you will have to stand here. You have to stand uh, from here and you will cut yeah. here and A side at the same time. And it's gonna give you a really good wall for retake. So if they play postpone or anything, it defends you here and here. And then you will have to like uh, take back the side. And there's like cool items for that. I will show you how to make them afterwards because we are talking about setups right now. I also have another wall and a push out mid if you want to be aggressive again. This one, you have to cut mid in half. And that's really good in my opinion because you can play both aggressive from here and for theirs. So this wall pretty much cuts mid uh, in half like this. And you, the only way you can be as aggressive is like throwing a, a snake by here and trying to push and take space. And you could do the same from here, except that you can't really throw a snake bite. So you have to be more careful this way. But cutting um, mid in half is also a good way to use. But by using that wall, you can't retake anything. So pretty like be pretty careful with that wall. So we are now attacking and this is probably gonna be your favorite part because I have a lot to show here. I have rotation lineups, post plan lineups, free take lineups, and also some little one ways that will probably help you when you get on side. Anyway, for the first side we're gonna go is A side and I will show you the default wall that everyone will probably use is this one. Yeah. So you'd have to cut these two parts like this. It's pretty easy to do. And then you have to smoke this part yeah. here and for me, I do it like this way. I have to go in this corner and I'm, watch I'm watching this circle and I'm putting the force bar of the potion bar like this. And I just do a simple left click and the smoke is gonna reach here. And you have a perfect like control of backside because they can't see anything from here. That is the, the smoke I like to do when I push A side. Otherwise, you can also use your smoke as a pre post plant lineup if you don't want to push with the team. You can like put yourself in front of that box and you're gonna watch these leaves and you can see this one, the bigger one. You're just gonna aim at this and just do a simple left click and this go, the smoke is gonna reach Poison default. So this is also a really good smoke if you want to play post lineups. 
Then when you have the setups and you got the plant, for me the default plant is uh, this plant. I played a few games and everyone was planting in that corner because you are protected from mid, uh, from backside and everything. The only way you can get you could get shot is from here. But yeah, you need to be careful by that. Uh, otherwise, you just plant here and then you can go back. And while you do this, I will show you some cool lineups uh, to use. The first one is in front of this box. So you can get in this corner and you, the lineup is going to be for default. And for this to happen, you're going to have to watch this uh, light. So it's the, the light who is the most high. Okay, I don't know if it's really English, but anyway. And you're going to put your HED that is popping up. So I'm going to, I'm showing you on the screen right now. And you just do a simple left click and the lineup will land perfectly for default uh, like this. Then after this lineup, if you want, you can use orders. So if you didn't go with your team and you were controlling mid, all the flanks and everything, you can do lineups from here. So the first lineup is in front of this door. You're gonna get here and you're gonna watch this window. You're gonna watch uh, the bottom left of it with the sheet of the snake bite like this. You just do a simple left click and the snake bite is gonna land default. After this, uh, the first lineup, you're gonna run towards mid. And you're gonna go in front of that box flower. And you're gonna watch this little square, this little window on the left side of it. And you're gonna go all the way up until you reach uh, between this uh, the roof, okay? So you're gonna just do this. And then you do a simple left click and the lineup will also land default like this. So after using the first and the second one, what you have to do is running towards mid. And then you will be able to to defend the spike. You can plant any way you want. If you want to do this rotation lineup, you can plant here or here. Doesn't matter because the lineups take both of it. Otherwise, if you want to do a closer lineups, you can use the first one here, as I just showed you. And the second one, you can use it from behind the box here. And you have to watch this corner with the HUD next to the ultimate like this. And then you do a simple left click. And the lineup is also uh, reaching the default plant. This is the lineups I love to use. So you will, if you want to have other lineups, you can do it yourself. There's no worries about that. Anyway, I think we've done about A side. I really don't like uh, this spot for lineups, and I don't think it's pretty useful. So if you if you uh, plant it this way, you can use uh, just a smoke like that if you want and just wait for people to go on the side and try to defend it or anything. I don't think like um, playing lineup for this bot is pretty good to, in my opinion, but if you want to have lineups, you can create them yourself for the spot. Uh, all, either way, uh, we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you now a retake lineups for A side. So the first here, let's say you were playing on B side and you're playing from window or anything and you're just rotating towards B. You can put yourself in this corner and you're gonna watch between the first, second, third and four. So between these three and four, you're gonna put your the sheet of your, um, your snake bite and just do a simple left click. This one is for the corner here. And now you can do the other lineup, which is um, the same way. So you look between the third and uh, the fourth and you go all the way up until uh, your HUD uh, comes at the top of this, okay, of the second one. So the second one is uh, the, the HUD that pops up a bit. I'm showing you on the screen like always. And you do a simple left click and this snake bite is gonna take a default. So you, you throw these two snake bites and you, while we are rotating, and it could like deny the plant or kill someone. Either way, it's it's good. So this is the rotation lineup if you want to make it run from, uh, and from spawn. Otherwise, you can make one from uh, here. And to make it happen, so you're gonna have to watch this circle here on the top of it with the second bar of your potion bar. So like this, and then you throw the lineup to the default plant. Then while you're doing it, you can rotate from mid to A side. Uh, otherwise, we can now talk about B side because B side there was a lot uh, to do as attacker side, and I really love to push that side. So the the way you can push the sides uh, with a good setup is using that wall. So the wall has here. to cut everything here, here. the top here. and mid. So it pretty much looks like it. 
It really cuts perfectly the all entries and I'm gonna show you a, a little one way for this spot which is pretty cool. So let's say you pushed on side to control of it. You can put yourself here and you're gonna watch here. Here and you do a simple left click then you're gonna get a really cool one way from this spot. So you can watch from here and you can have some space from it which is really well, really better. Or you can play from here if you want it works both of it. But like you can see nothing from here. So playing from here, this spot is really, really amazing to know and try to kill someone. Otherwise, there's also an other one way if you want to try them. Let's say you plant it this way. You can watch up and do that smoke. It's going to give you a cool boss or one way plant. Uh, you can see them uh, defusing. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can also use a smoke here if you want after a plant. It's going to also give you a good uh, a good one way while they are trying to defuse. There was like pretty good spot to, to use the one way here and my favorite is probably the one I just showed you here. Anyway, after this, uh, this one way, what I like to do is playing lineups of course. So for me there's three different spots that you can play. There's this spot, this spot with the sage wall, like here, and this spot. So to make to, to make it um, to make the lineups, it's gonna be all from one spot. It's gonna be in this corner. For the first uh, boss plan here, you're gonna have to watch simply in this corner here with the shield of the snake bite like this, and then it's gonna um, like take here and here. You will have to do lineups like that. If you want to create lineups yourself, don't do a smoke uh, a lineups like this. It's not good because you're gonna have less chance to kill the guy. If you do the lineup like I just showed you, it's gonna take a lot more space to kill the guy. So you just do this this lineup I just showed you, and this lineup is gonna take default and also here, because people will try to run away while you're doing this, and they're gonna stay longer in the snake bite. So in my opinion, it's a better way to make a lineup. For the second lineup, you're gonna have to, uh, it's gonna be from here, and to, for this to happen, you're just gonna watch around this area with the A sheet of the snake bite like this. And this little lineup is gonna take uh, this corner like this. So it's it, you have to plan here, like I just tell you, okay? You watch from here. It's all. It's the only way uh, you can make a really good one here. Or you can even watch a bit higher, and it's gonna work better. It's uh, really up to you, and depends where your spike is. But like both both way works okay for the other one it's pretty tricky so you need to be careful with that one yeah. so let's say you plant in that corner you will have to watch between uh i think it's the first and the second one around this area okay it's really under here what i'm shooting so you watch with the a sheet of the snake bite like this and you do a simple left click and it should be uh working so the snake bite lands here and they can't stand in the corner so it's pretty, pretty good because the snake bite take the wall place here. And this is probably the best uh, lineup you can make from this spot. Otherwise, there's also lineups that you can make from behind here. And it's pretty cool because uh, let's say you ping this. Wait, yeah. you can ping this and you can shoot through it. Like the bullets go through, okay? So you can even play a post plan and try to shoot from here and try to kill him defusing without showing your face. Uh, to make this lineup, it's not really difficult. Uh, you can just... Uh, um, I think it was this one. Yeah, a bit further away. So, like, you stand in the middle of this. And you watch... Uh, I don't know. This, it's really, it really doesn't matter, guys. You, you just look up. <laughs> That's the only way. You just do here. You come here. You just look up. And the, and the lineups will land. That, that's really the most easy lineup. You don't have HED or post plan or anything to look at this. You just stand here, look up, and, and the lineup is gonna land there. It's really, really easy. Um, otherwise, if you want rotation lineup, that is the most enjoying, enjoyable thing to do. You're gonna have to come in these corners. So for this, let's say you let your team push the side. So you let your wall here. You can put your smoke in that yeah. corner by using a, a pre-smoke um, post plant, okay? So for this to happen, you're gonna go in this corner and you're gonna watch this corner here um, with the lighting. I don't know if you can see it really well. It's really here, okay? 
and you just do a jump and a left click at the same time and you're gonna see that the smoke lands uh, for default like this it's enough for us. so after you did this you're gonna throw of course your snake bite and for this to uh to work i think it was this one i don't remember really well but i think it was this one uh because i think it was this one yeah yeah so for this to happen you you just have to look at uh the upper right of this window so right here with the a sheet of the snake bite like this okay after you did that one you're gonna run towards mid like this and you're gonna put yourself here in front of the second line and you're gonna watch this uh, box on the upper right with the HD that is going down like this. You see like the bar that is going this way. You just look this way and then the lineup is gonna land perfectly here. Once you did that, of course, what you have to do is to run towards mid like this and you come here and you can either shoot through the box so if he's defusing freely, yeah, you can have a free kill. So that's the rotation lineup for the default spot. Otherwise, there is another rotation lineup that you can do uh, to reach that spot, which is really harder to make, but it's pretty, pretty cool too. So for this one, you're going to have to uh, put yourself here. And uh, for the line, for the snake bite, um, you're going to have to put the, um, uh, like, look here. I'm sorry, it's really hard to explain. Here, you see the end of this roof with the HD next to the Q or A. It depends if you have an other keyboard or, key, uh, or QWERTY. You just look that way and you put a simple left click and the snake bite will reach perfectly everything here. And of course, with that snake bite, you're gonna run mids again. So you do the first lineup, then you run towards mid. You go between these two lines again and you're gonna have this time watch this big line between it between the roof here and you're gonna put the thing that is going down like this and you throw your lineups and the snake bites reach default so that is pretty uh, much it for the rotation lineups on uh, b side um yeah that's the, the the one i prefer to use and oh, again for this one you're gonna have to run towards uh towards B again like this. You're gonna have to be careful because they can hear it closer here. And then you're gonna have to go here because you can't wall bang this. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you wanted to smoke uh, for B hole here, um, that goes deep. You have to go in this corner and watch uh, the head of the fish go down and you go in the middle of this uh, building here. And you put like the, the point uh, on the left click here like this. And the smoke is gonna go deep in a uh, b-hole like this. Poison orb emitting. This, uh, this is the perfect smoke if you want to push on b-side. Second smoke I forgot to mention is the pre-smoke from mid if you wanted to do yeah. the other rotation lineup. So you had to go on the same spot for the lineups here. And you're gonna watch between these two uh, thing, okay, here. And you're gonna put the left uh, point of the left click, if you know what I mean, I'm showing it on the screen. And you're gonna do a jump and instantly left click uh, again. I suggest you to try it first in custom to be used to it. <coughs> and lands perfectly at the default spot like this. So really try it in custom before because sometimes it could end up on the roof here. So try it one or two times so you're used to it and then it's gonna have a zero issue. Okay guys, so the guide is over. I know it was really long, like 24 minutes probably. Yeah, 23 to 24. But I love to explain what I'm doing and what I'm seeking by making these lineups or these walls or this one way. So I really hope you understand and that you will enjoy it this way instead of just showing and explaining nothing. Anyway, that's why that's why that's my way of thinking. And yeah, thank you guys, love you. And if you want to see me playing live on Pearl on other maps, you can watch me uh, on my Twitch, which is Ryan Valorant, really easy. And yeah, see you guys and love you. Bye bye.